This is A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. Hey, y'all. Hey. Welcome to A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, Ooh. where you can be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chats. Today, I have with me um, the OG E Money over here. We Shout out to me. Our boy Eli. Oh. Hold on. We got our boy Josh. In There's the only one today. E Money. Hey. In the building. We are going to be feuding said, today. Eli? We are going to be feuding today. And I'm sorry. Hey, if you're being real, you is the real E Money, okay? Give me a okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What you trying to say? You trying to say? <laughs> Can you give me a dollar? You got my cash out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh how are God. y'all doing? How's it going? It has been a nice, long, hot. I'm in Texas. It's 102 degrees. Hiatus. How has yes. y'all summer been going so far? Shoot, it's been it's been pretty solid. Washington, we've had a pretty sunny summer. So privilege. Now that I look at it, Eli, you look like you got a little color. You got a little tan on me. I just realized I got a little tan on me. I'm not. I'm not as light on, as I, I was. See our daddy coming through. Come on That's, now. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah, Trying to show out. Yeah. Indeed. Bro. No sunburn, no nothing, just nothing but tan. Makes it nice and easy. Come on, tan. Oh, no, that's right. I, you know, I got a little tan, too. You know, I keep it natural, though. I keep it natural. Indeed. <laughs> oh, on oh, my eyes. Ooh. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, God. You in this darn <laughs> rain, y'all. Back at it. <laughs> How you been doing, Josh? You know, I've been solid. That had a birthday, turned 26. Hey. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And you know, just out here thriving and twerking. So I like hey, I'm the best friend. <laughs> I'm weak. What about you, Eric? What you been doing this Listen, summer? I've been in the trenches at being this dirty. job. Oh, mm. what I did? And why am I dirty? I don't know. I thought you was doing something nasty this summer. What? You want to do nothing next? I mean, I mean, there no. was the one thing, Eric. Oh. There was Eric, one thing. We all know Eric is the heathen of the group. Hold Eric on. is is a heathen, y'all. Not, y'all. y'all not gonna get Don't him, him play to me. <laughs> nah, I'm just play. Y'all not gonna lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna me. be like, Eric, we saw, we heard you were a heathen. You ain't heard that. <laughs> I'm lying, y'all. Eric ain't no heathen. Eric is for the saint. My life. Hey, Hallelujah, Shabbat. Hey. That part. No, I, it's been cool. I've been fighting for my life at work. What mm. I really need for my life because I'm chilling, but I've been fighting for, you know, helping my coworkers because they've been going through some stuff with management. Mm. And, you know, me with my experience and my big F-12. brother vibes, I've been pulling some strings <laughs> here and there. Sorry. <laughs> That's what they feel like. They're ops for sure. They feel like the ops, right? The mm. Yeah. But things are looking up, so can't complain okay and how about you trees how's your summer been uh you outside of the heat stuff. hot oh outside the heat uh hot um <laughs> my kid is finally sleeping more than two hours at a time so that's been great so why am i so exhausted i don't know um but life has been life in my kids start school my big kids start school in two weeks so i've oh been doing God, a lot already. of shopping yeah, it's early, early August. School starting? Oh, that's crazy. Start school for... on the seventh. That's so early. It, it is. That's crazy. School, we never started that early. It's always been like the twenty. The eighteenth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. We start school on the seventh. So hmm. we've been shopping all week and getting our little ones and twos together. Um, but he's ready for school. Hey. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. I guess Eli, you want to introduce us on uh why we here today? I got y'all. I got y'all. So we are here before the BB25 season to argue, to fight a little bit, as we mm. hope we see on these BB screens. Cause yes. look, if you buck, well, we I know. Hey, if you buck, hey. hey, watch the diamond, watch the diamond, watch the diamond. Don't leave a mark. Don't leave All a right. mark. Well, if you mm-hmm. feel a froggy, then jump. Will. <laughs> <laughs> not, not he jumped. He actually <laughs> jumped. <laughs> oh my Don't let the fat fool you. I'm agile. Ah, hey. Shoot, I know that's right. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> and so we are here to get our A who all gonna be there, BB icon. Okay. So okay. what we got set up here is a March Madness style bracket. If y'all mm. don't know how it works, 
we got 64 of the most iconic Big Brother players. You know. 64 pictures of me? Uh, oh, wait. You said, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. I thought you just said iconic. Excuse me. Go ahead. All, all I'm going to say is. Big Brother House, Tracy. <laughs> you said what? Since when was you in the Big Brother House, Tracy? That's why I said. I thought he said just iconic, not Big Brother iconic. Because, mm. you know, I'm just I. All I'm going to say is, with all of us being here, Big Brother casting, they missed out on four potential people we could add on this list. So if there's yeah, anyone you see, why are they on this list? Just imagine, one of us could have replaced them, but, you know. <laughs> Yours truly. <laughs> you know those so, old posts they used to do back in the day? In the, in the... <laughs> oh, indeed. They were posted. <laughs> Tell me why that's so funny. I went out with my girls from college last Friday. And we posted up the camera so we could take uh-huh. pictures. We didn't have nobody take it. So I just did a video and I was going to screenshot it. And while one of them, we did like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to send it to y'all. It's hilarious. I'm telling you. It's funny you brought that up. Like our little family books like that we got over here at my grandparents' house. And all those old poses. For school. Cousins, That's how we always yeah. did for school. Yeah. Why yep. they tell us to do that? And we did it. What the hell? Why do I'm not doing this No for telling. <laughs> yeah. No telling. Mm-hmm. So here we go. We got Pop our this thing list. off right. Let's get it started. It'll generate completely random. We don't set the matchups. So round one could this be... This is not like Big Brother, a real Big Brother production where we we manipulate things. <laughs> it's going to be... This first thing we see could be Dan versus Dr. Will. Which... What should be Dan versus Dr. Will? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to flip out my chair if that's what it is. <laughs> so let's get it. Oof. Okay. Oh. All right. First matchup, let me let let me just tell y'all to the audio listeners, this will be better on YouTube. Go ahead, check out to YouTube if we're posting it there. Mm-hmm. But we'll be sure to describe each of the matchups. So first one that we have, Brittany Haynes, y'all know her, versus Shima. Oh, I'm From sorry. I'm going with Brittany, <laughs> hands down. Oh, is it me next? You, uh, you know what? We all know the answer. I'm just click. We're all picking. Ooh, I, wait. We're all clicking. Wait, wait. No, I'm clicking, Josh. We all know the answer. Am I right? Shout out it to is Brittany. The team moving she, on. Shouldn't, she shouldn't have been evicted, but you, you gotta go see. It. <laughs> oh, come on. Oof. Will the well, you know. Second Nicomis. set, we have Doctor Will versus Nakomis. Nakomis from BB Five, BB Seven. I'm gonna say. Dr. Will beat Nicomis. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Yep. Nicomis is, 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 was a great player, though. I will say that. A great player. She is iconic in her own right. She did. She could have went lower execute. for sure. Right. She did help execute the, you know, the first back door with Marvin's help. But up against Dr. Will, unfortunately, she stands yeah. no chance. You got to go, ma'am. Josh, you in the same boat? Is it a sweet? Where my broom at? Oh, you got it ready. Get the comments out of ready. <laughs> Bye, blue hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, y'all hear the odds. We no. got Kaser, three oh. time, three time non juror member Damn. from BB6, BB7, and BB22 versus this is so hard. Rachel's man, Listen. Brandon. Go ahead. Listen, Brandon. Said- My, I said Brandon. My bad. Brandon. Rachel's Brandon, man. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Nobody comes between me and my man. My man. Bro, I'm going to say that at the altar when I do my vows. Ain't nobody going to get it but y'all. <laughs> it's going to be four people giggling. They're going to be like, ah, nobody comes to me and my man. I'm going to record it and then I'm going to tag Rachel and Brendan in it. Oh, that'd be so dope, yo. Kaser <laughs> uh, is the most lovable person that has not went that far in the game, I feel like. <laughs> one, you know, one of these days, we need to do the best losers. Like, the people that just never made jury, we need to, like, do one like that. Because yeah. he, he win. He's he so here. <laughs> He's so lovable, but Brendan, uh, of course. I my vote is also gonna go to Brendan, but here's the thing: I I gotta get a story every single time we talk about Brendan and Rachel. You know, I started my BB journey with Brendan and Rachel, and I just love the fight. They, you know, they never gave up in a season. And he really almost he was one veto away from winning season twelve, in my opinion. Had he not winning that double, he could have taken his game to the yeah, end and won twelve. Um, and the fact that he came back, you know, in the you know audience voted him back in thirteen. They gave Rachel the boost that she needed to go and take thirteen. So I'm gonna give it to K- uh to Brendan. But I love Kaser and everything that Tree said is true. Very much one. Kaser gets honorable players. mission. He is my favorite loser of Big Brother. Josh, where are you going? Yeah, I would, I would definitely 
torn, but I'm definitely with with y'all. I'm saying, Brendan, like I'm kind of in the same boat, Eric. I started with my BB journey with season 12. Hey, that's my point. And I don't care what nobody says. I was <laughs> definitely on the side of Brendan and Rachel that season. For sure. And yep. Nobody, yep. And nobody, <laughs> if you don't like it, we can fight. You see, I like to, I froggy and I'll jump. And I'm, look, you got the right, I got the left. Right, that part. <laughs> so it's, yeah. And I definitely think that, like, I don't know, I feel like he played, like, he he could have gone further. He definitely had the potential to win season 12. Yeah. And season Indeed. 13, he was definitely always going to fall on the sword for Rachel. Like, you know, that, that was iconic, would, yeah. though. I would not mind seeing Brendan play again. Yeah, without no. Rachel. I love Rachel. Without no, Rachel. Without We've Rachel. seen Rachel play. Yeah, uh-huh. I want to see Brendan play without Rachel. Yeah, because that was in the of season 12 when he was by himself. Like, he was he was still handling business. I was still he interested was. to see, like, his, how, if it weren't for him leaving, how his end game would have looked. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Brandon, come on, talk. Well, Casey, your fate is sealed. What did we you say, going... Eli? Damn. I, you, you know... It's Brendan. It's Brendan. I I, I want to give Kaysha love though. Kaysha lost again. <laughs> he didn't even make, <laughs> didn't didn't even make, make it past either. one round. Now he third boot. <laughs> yeah, Kaysha, your 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 fate is sealed. Kaysha, you're done. Wow. wow. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Now I know you lying, <laughs> Taylor. All right, matchup right here. Taylor, Joseph Tyler. from BB twenty four versus Tyler from BB twenty. And all stars, but mainly BB twenty. I think this is oh. unanimous. <laughs> Look, Are we saying it on three. Joseph wasn't what? terrible, um, but if you put him up against Tyler, Tyler, even though production did everything they could to get this man to win, Tyler was a great Big Brother player. I don't care what nobody say. Absolutely. Biases aside, he he was really good. So that's hands yep. down, Tyler. Ramen sure. noodles, absolutely. Yeah, so yep, I yep. can't believe he was robbed. Yep, where? And BB twenty, he, he should have easily beat. He should have easily beat Casey. Karma. He should have told Bailey. He didn't he need no vote. That's what he get. What did Casey do? You're in management. This is a social game. You gotta get people to vote for you. I didn't vote. want the furniture to win either, but here I we was are. about to say. I forget if Casey makes the top sixty four iconic players. I'd rather really? have Tyler represent this season than Casey because I don't even know who that who is. Who the hell is so. Casey? Indeed, paper. exactly. The one who you call paper. Thank nah, you, nothing but win competitions. <laughs> but hey, this is about Tyler Joseph. You're Tyler nice. For sure. But my vote is for Tyler. Josh, for what sure. say you? Um, I'm. Ooh, Ooh. you you got to do Ooh. game game. Look, I'm. I guess on I, paper, I have to go with Tyler, even though he's kind of boring in person. But <laughs> not the personal shot, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, but honestly, but, he seemed kind of boring on the show too. Yeah. So hey, they, my guy is no longer vegan. Shout out, shout out to all the vegans. Wait, oh, he only no went longer vegan. with Angela. He's in. He's in. He only went vegan because of Angela. That's oh my what... gosh, our brother has been delivered <laughs> because Ooh. that food Angela was cooking. <laughs> Woo! I don't know how he stayed in that relationship. One of my best friends is vegan, but her boyfriend isn't. He, I mean, he's semi. He like he tries vegan stuff, but like he still eat regular food too, though. Eric, did you ever give up give up meat for a girl? No, Mm -mm, I wouldn't Mm. either. Baby, meat is my favorite thing. You hear me? (laughs) You hear me? I can stick to chicken and fish Mm, and beef and and steak. (laughs) What about you? Could could, could you you do what Tyler did? And give uh, it you know, I could. Yeah. I I, no. I could see myself cutting that. I would definitely try. He would. I would. I don't know how long I'd last, but I. He'd be eating hamburgers in the uh, shower it, like a it <laughs> like a Jackson. Oh my god! Like Nikki. making food in the shower. <laughs> Terrible. All right, but Josh, are you? It's a Tyler reluctant, Joseph. It's a reluctant Tyler. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll see who he faces next round. Oh, oh, this is a good oh, one. Oh, this is a matchup. Oh, we the have... Battle of the Blonde Shells. <laughs> we have Janelle explain? versus Keisha. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Keisha, I like better. Janelle, mm-hmm. okay, let me say this. I like Keisha better today. I like old school Janelle. Today's Janelle is, uh, I don't like her, okay? 
She talks to um, I don't she like her at all. Um, but I'm gonna pick with Janelle for this one. Um, yes, my I'm gonna go with um Therese and say Janelle as well. Six and seven, Janelle is almost incomparable, you know. Yeah, and you just you can't you can't beat it. Yeah, beat I'm it. not gonna lie. I'm going with Keisha. Okay. You see, I, I, my, Jesse, my scale, Jesse, Jesse, oh, my scale <laughs> is completely not entirely based on who's a better player, who's okay. yada yada. Janelle's had moments. Janelle is a beast. Well, what's her name? Be- uh, Barbie. She's the queen beast of Barbie. BB. Indeed. Who's the queen but, of BB? You know, in figurative terms, people that's who they call her the queen of BB. Ain't no, ain't no white woman queen or nothing. No <laughs> way. <laughs> old school there. big brother janelle is, is queen for sure she she's queen old up until about sure. mid mid middle school yeah big oh, brother for sure. she's <laughs> queen of she, i'll give her queen of old school for sure actually i'm changing my vote i'm going with janelle only because keisha bb 22 not you a flip-flop i'm a i'm a i'm a flip-flop i'm a flip-flop because keisha bb 22 was painting her nails on all stars yeah, Keisha was collecting a check. You hear me? I'm not mad. Right. She did, but she did. they both MAGA mistresses, so I really it don't matter. Keisha, uh, a Mac, mm-hmm. you lying? Oh, well, both of y'all help us mm. go. <laughs> Josh, where mm. you going? And this well, uh, I thought, blonde I thought, we have, I thought we were supposed to have our first time, but Eli once again didn't have my back. <laughs> Dang, now you back I was gonna say Keisha because to me. The most one of the most iconic moments in Big Brother history is Keisha's birthday. That is true. That true. that little that night of chaos and that dull monotone happy birthday, that flat non yeasted birthday cake, and all the drama uh, that surrounded that. That is, I literally go go back and watch that quite often. That's a classic clip. Like, Janelle is a yes, yeah, she's a comp queen, and that give me the key bitch. Like that's that's definitely an iconic, but I'm just like when it comes to like big brother moments, like Keisha's birthday, it's literally her birthday was a was a source of all the chaos and calamity with the fight involving everyone in the house minus Dan. Yeah. So that's why mm-hmm. I give it to Keisha. I don't know. Was that was that Boy, Janelle versus you Bo the polyester hair? Polyester hair. was that Janelle <laughs> versus Bo? Or something like that. Janelle's had moments too. She did. I know she Keisha did. has know, the moments. The entirety chaos of Keisha's birthday still like is like I said, it's one of the staple like, most iconic moments in Big Brother. Okay. So it's like, do we go iconic? Because that is iconic in like BB lore and history in terms of like viewership. But when we talk about iconicness in the game, nobody's necessarily still talking about Keisha's birthday within these seasons of the game versus people are like, oh, Janelle won nine. You know, people are still trying to beat that. They want to get that record and they're going into this trying to win as many comps as they can because she set the precedent of what a comp beast is. Janelle. Mm. Well, 3 1, Keisha, we love you. Sorry, Josh, you got one more, one more thing to say? He did. I, say, oh. I, I ain't budging. I'm outnumbered. I'm used to it. Go ahead and pick the other racist white girl. <laughs> now he <is> upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is <laughs> hey Josh, get the broom. Just click the button. Match up Danielle Reyes <laughs> versus Casey. Where's the yes. woman? Danielle I'm glad Reyes. we got her out. I'm glad oh. we got furniture out. <laughs> okay. This one's now. This one we got mm. Danny Donato or Danielle the Donato. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we don't associate with Danny over here versus Big Jeff. The Jeff Schroeder from BB11, BB13. Mm. It's kind of funny um, that these two are up against each other, knowing that they're at each other's necks in 13. <laughs> and one of them yeah. got the other one out. I'm going with Jeff. I am. See, the thing is, I didn't care for Danielle <laughs> because she was up against, you know. Brendan, Rachel, Jeff, and Jordan. And that's who I was rocking with in that season, obviously. Mm. But when we, I think this Danielle is specifically iconic. The dark hair, she was vicious, she was vile. She not whine too much for me. I mean, Janelle, Danielle. Um, 
So I'm trying not to think about Danny because you know Danny. I was about to say, do, does is your vote automatically Jeff if the picture of Danny changes? If Absolutely. we're talking about Absolutely. Danny and she has her blonde hair, yes. Or the second blonde, oh, second blonde. Maybe my second left toenail hair. beats blonde Danny. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Danielle, Danielle versus Danny is gonna be Danielle. Either Danielle from the first time or this Danielle beats Danny from 22 anytime. Uh, Jeff. This is overall yeah. Danny, though. <laughs> overall. You gotta put all of her seasons she's been on. All of the seasons well, Jeff, well, Jeff has been on. I don't know. She, she was well, then Danielle's better. Majority. Right. She was I mean, Danielle. I'm going with Jeff. I gotta go with Jeff. Hey, I'm gonna talk just to talk, but uh, is Danielle BB-8 iconic? Or is, are we just saying about BB-13? She set the veto record. She was the first one to set that, that veto record with the most vetoes. So yeah, she, she did. Is iconic. She was definitely uh, under overdog, if that makes sense. I'm choosing her because they did cheat in season 11 for him, gave him that coup d'etat, messed up everything. Yep. Yeah, Jeff a little homophobic, but I, 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 I liked Jeff and Jordan on that season. I really did. <laughs> I did. Oh, a like medium? That. I don't know a lot. What's the, what's the levels? I, if you have some in you, that's enough for me to know. Oh, he did. He, oh. he, a, he, a, he, a, he a lot of homophobic then. <laughs> he <laughs> said you got ass. some in you. I oh, am. I look a lot. <laughs> so I'm See, going with Danielle Donato because even when she was up against Ra- Rachel, Rachel Nim in season 13, I kind of like the back and forthness of it all. And I like I did. And I kind of appreciate in retrospect. I kind of appreciate that it wasn't just kind of like a steamroll. It kind of created a divide. So it gave kind of like Rachel, why her win was a little bit more satisfying as she had an up- uphill struggle That's true. to get there because it was like, and Danielle took some power in her hands and didn't want to just go along for the ride. She wanted to create some power in her own hands and was mm-hmm. able to get Brendan out twice. Right. And that's why I will stick on Danielle Donato. Okay. I, I, don't, know that, I don't know who Danny is, but I know Danielle. <laughs> Eli, what's that? For you? me, I just think back of when I first watched these seasons. And keep in mind, I'm a bit of a youngin'. I wasn't watching feeds back then. I don't know what... Oh, I know Jeff was saying some wild stuff on feeds. But TV edit Jeff is peak. That's like... The most rootable person. I voted him because of his (laughs) edit. Exactly. And that's where I'm going on. I'm Mr. Bias. I got no... Rhyme or reason with my voting, but that's why I'm going with Jeff. So, so we have a tie. We're at 2 2. All right. We got to go. All right. Go to the wheel. wheel. We got a wheel right here. We will go. We'll go with the colors. So B will be Danny with red, and A will be Jeff. Bit. Let me get a spin. C. Oh! <laughs> hey. Exactly. Real knows. Last minute B. Did I get bit Will by a mosquito? Oh, I guess I need it. I did so I'm gonna rub the one on my ankle. Mm-hmm. Like so Danny won the spin. We got it. Now we have a BB10 oh. matchup. Oh. Libra versus Rennie. Oh. Both one time mm. players. Mm. Libra. Easy. Both Next. got in arguments. I do Libra. love Rennie. I do love Rennie. You better not. Um, but Nick. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like what she sounds like, too. It's inappropriate. I'm not <laughs> you better not. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna leave. I, I went to I went to Rice University. I graduated <laughs> summa cum laude. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Anybody want cake? <laughs> yeah. Libra. All right, that's a sweet. Oh, sweet. Love you, Rennie. Bye, Rennie. Oh. Ooh. Next, um, Howie from BB6 and 7 versus Amanda Zuckerman from BB15, the season we don't talk about, but she made the list. Hmm. Uh, Howie Both of them boy. look like they feet smell like Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a hard one. Don't do Howie like that. This is a hard one. I, I know, know Howie uh, feet smell like Fritos times two. You know, um, one, thing I'm, one thing I'm gonna say about Amanda Howie. is... And I'm telling y'all, I'm a youngin. I'm a, I'm a TV editor watcher. You uh, ran that game, boy. She was, cause she, she was. She did that TV so editor loved entertaining. Her. Hey, it, according in my mind, uh, TV edit Amanda is one of the best female strategists. I know that's not that might not be the. Game. Mm. She was running that game. He said TV edit, not. I was well, about was to say, it. yeah. 
And Andy was still cooking her. Andy was still cooking her. But um, Amanda was fun as a uh, minus all the racism. Right. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna get caught up because that's a yeah. Case people should know. <laughs> Whenever we talk about 15, it's like minus the racism. Yeah, How do you minus the racism like if this. What did what did y'all say? If it's just a little bit. It's what it's too. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's, it's a lot of it, and it's it's hard because like I kind of like it's kind of weird because how can someone be someone call someone out for being racist and then then yourself be racist too? It yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Out and Gina Marie and all them other hateful ugly girls mm-hmm. for being racist and saying that you don't know how you're looking on TV, and then then she kind of behaved the same way on TV, but right, her yeah. it doesn't get shown as much, and that's Illusion. why you the piece of guy. She was with him for a minute too, but she now she's going all the way to jail. She, what she do? <laughs> she oh, got I caught up right. in some real estate stuff. Some fraud. Or Look, stuff I was like just that. playing. I was just like, she about to do some fraud, like writing hot chick. <laughs> she was what? with some fraudulent things. For yeah. real, I'm about to look up what she done did. That's what being racist gets you. So do now. I just need the racism to catch up to Aaron because she don't deserve to have the life she had. I'm sorry, baby. She, she be she be that on little TikTok. YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. But I was like, one of the funny things Amanda said, I think when she had Alyssa and um, was it, it wasn't Helen that was on, the, was it Helen? It was either Helen, mm. I think it was Helen. They were on the block and Alyssa won um, Otev and Helen was laughing and Amanda was in the diary and said, I don't know what you laughing for, Helen, because you on the block next <laughs> and you're going home. <laughs> so Amanda was such a confrontational person. <laughs> she did not care. She was going to let you know what she thought. But I'm not gonna lie, I think I still go with Howie. But I'm going with Howie. Howie I know I talked to Howie in person, so I like how I have a personal bias. But um I Howie is iconic, although his six his game in six annoys me because he messed up the game for the sovereign six. Um, because he not, you know, did what he was supposed to do and put mm-hmm. up both members of the uh what they call what were they call uh, the friendship alliance. Friendship, yeah. They, they would have won the game. The alliance at least would have won. Uh, but that is iconic. It shifted the game in their favor. So whether we liked it or not, that was something that happened. And I I love how he um undertook Chicken George. We should have had Chicken George on the thing. Mm. Uh, and just kind of, you know, built that friendship with him because it honestly came in handy later on in season seven. And I think I didn't watch Speed, so I don't know if it was intentional with how he built that relationship with Chicken George, but from the edit perspective it really helped him because when chicken george won that double unexpectedly how he automatically had safety and that saved janelle as well by extension so i'm gonna give it to howie that's three hey, josh give it to, give it to sweet <laughs> hey hey we will be saying that a lot today unfortunately oh <laughs> easy. About say, i'm about to say it All again right. too give it, to the, we go. <laughs> give it to the white man we got <laughs> ian terry versus lawan lawan Ooh, it ain't Black History Month. Sorry, LaJuan. Ian. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it pushing. If it was February, it'd be different. But Oh. <laughs> Easy what? vote. Hey. Davon oh. versus Mike Boogie. Mike, we go with Mike, Mike Boogie. Davon Brooks and Busy Rogers or Mike Phelan Boogie? Mike Boogie. Davon Rogers. I love Davon, but Mike Boogie. Hey, we'll we'll say talking about Davon till later because we will be seeing her down Wait, the road. Wait, hold on. Were you really about to vote Mike Boogie over Davon? Yeah. Oh, that was a... As oh, my, more iconic, I'm doing it. When I say iconic, I'm I'm more so. My top tier thing is gameplay. He didn't, really you know, your none. cute little that was moments Will's is gameplay. cute. I do love Davon, okay, personally. Mm-hmm, but if no. you putting up against Mike Boogie, Mike Boogie all day. Sorry. Yeah, no, because he didn't really yeah. have no gameplay. Everything that he did was Will. Mike so. Boogie. Mm. All I'm gonna say is modern day Big Brother. I associate so much with Davon, and that's where for me. Immediate day, and that's why she won. So, anyway. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm voting day, but I just want to see what Eric said. <laughs> hey, I don't know why hey, she hey, would be like this. Hey, you Eric got the boxing like gloves that. out for his best friend, he got his I, butt boxing gloves out. I'm glad no. you know. Day one definitely, got, De- definitely getting the sweep job. <laughs> Josh, you just, all right, next matchup Derek X from BB23 versus Monica Bailey from BB2. Almost. Gosh dang, 20 years apart? Shoot, yeah. Monica. 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 Monica should have won. Derek, Derek X is cool. 
Derek X is cool. Derek X cool. didn't really not iconic? game and caught on quick. I give him that. Tiffany. Tiffany gave him that. Yeah. Um, because is he iconic to me? And eh, he's a good. He has potential. He has so much potential to be so. But the way I don't want to. I was about to say two years from now. now. Two? Mm-mm. I don't want to see him on TV. No, uh, when it's you their ex BB23, comma BB26, then he might uh be able to beat Monica. Mm-mm. He need to go on a different show. We done. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he won the amazing race. Exactly. A he show did. I don't watch. You can stay over there. <laughs> but we go on Monica. Keep it going yes. somewhere else. Keep pushing. All right. Monica. Yep. Keeping it pushing. Monica. All right. Next matchup. Oh, Jace easy. versus Jesse. Jesse for sure. Reminded what seasons? Jace from BB five and uh, BB All Stars one, and Jesse from two seasons. BB ten and BB eleven. Yes. I Jesse the Muscle Man, Mister Spectacular. Ask Jesse. Oh, let me not do that because y'all got on me about that. Y'all said I was like feeling myself. I was gonna do this. Try to do the. Go try to feel your titties. Hey, I feel like both these guys are gonna do like a muscle contest against each other. Yep. They're just gonna be flexing in front of each other. They're gonna out. Hey, Jesse wins that flex matchup. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Jesse. I feel like in both games, he's like. I don't know, he kind of got, Loki got screwed both times in a way, mm-hmm. especially on 11. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I don't know, everyone's saying that he's one, I was actually watching a video today on YouTube of like some of the most like robbed players and him being on the list is like, yeah, because he kind of got screwed in a way on both of his seasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was annoying he got voted a little in bit, but on 11. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he's just a fun player, but all right, that sounds like it's another sweep. So I haven't seen a lot of big names. All right, next one. Memphis mm, from BB10 nope. and BB All-Stars 2 versus uh, Beast Mode Cowboy, Caleb we're, from we're, we're, 18. Okay, so let's we're see what we're both 16. of them. Next. We, got the, uh, we have the aggressive racist that put his hands on David in 22 mm-hmm. versus the guy who got a black woman evicted because he did because she didn't want him. <laughs> mm. I know. This is a hard one. The battle. I'll, of the I'll get it started. I'll get it started. For our correction, he, Caleb was in BB sixteen. Just so yeah. Look, just in text says BB eighteen. Whoever wrote that clearly tripping. No, clearly from BB sixteen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> For me though, this matchup. <laughs> I think I go with Caleb just because I feel like he has moments where I just think of Frankie in the Battle of the Block competition where Caleb... That's the first thing oh, that no, pops in my mind. Yeah, where Caleb, he ain't have to sit out. He could just held the pole and made him lose. He's like, nah, I made it so big, big deal, sat out. He's the reason that happened. Right, because we could have got Frankie out a long time ago. Indeed. Mm-hmm. So, but I am going to go with him because I'm mad at Memphis because he shouldn't have nominated Davon in All-Star. He should have just thrown David up. He know David wasn't going to win no dang veto. <laughs> so just threw him up there and she wouldn't have been on the block. All right, two for Caleb, two for B-Smoke Cowboy. Caleb. Caleb. No, I voted Caleb. Sweet. Caleb going on to the second round, beating out yeah, on the Comets and people like that. that. Oh, Made it further than <laughs> All right. Are we keeping it pushing? We got Rachel Riley, BB12, BB13 versus Jason Guy. Jason Guy, he's him. He's that guy. He's iconic, but Rachel is my girl forever and always. And I'm gonna be so. very real. I I I did watch season three, but I barely remember it. It's been so long. So mm. based off my memory, I gotta go Rachel. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Not your memory. My memory. <laughs> I need to go back and watch three. Jason, grab a life vest. Hmm. Kristen. <laughs> sweep sweep. Oh. Ooh. All right. Oh, Next sorry, matchup. This one easy for me. The Jen uh, Johnson from BB8 versus Hayden Moss, winner of BB12. Jen. Sorry, Hayden, you were boring, Jen. I'm going to say Hayden because I feel like, you know, he really held that alliance down, the brigade, when it could have cracked. He really should be gone. How boring. he kept the house. From voting him out over Kristen. How do you see him on the block and you vote well, Kristen out? Because he had no because he had an alliance. <laughs> right. Because he was a part of the second most iconic alliance in BB history. Can I, I will say Hayden? Oh, go ahead, Trees. No, go ahead. I was gonna say something about Gene. Y'all All I was gonna say is Hayden, he also kicked on Survivor. I know, he did. I know he that, made the final five said... or six, right? Really? What season mm. was he on? I didn't know he was on Survivor. He was on um um Blood versus Water. Yeah. Ooh, everybody said that's a good season. I might need to watch it that one. He made a good season. Yeah, he did good on Survivor. 
But we ain't talking uh, about Survivor. I just Jimmy. have so many. But yeah, I gotta go with Jen because Ooh. like her randomly within that one HOH and like the red leotard. <laughs> it's like wait, did y'all watch Feeds that season? No, I was. I didn't watch Feeds. Damn. But I, just I did know like, Evil Dick put that cigarette on him. Yeah. And her, Listen, her rivalry versus Evil Dick. I'm just like. That's that was like one of the best rivalries when I tell you. He was <laughs> he was so effing cruel to her. But mm-hmm. can I be real? I'm literally just thinking Jen high key got bullied her season, okay? BB8, you know, it was a different time. Yeah. They really tailored her. But Jen handled mm-hmm. that like a she handled it like a boss. You hear me smiling in their face. She got burned with a cigarette. It was like, let's oh. get in the pool, guys. Like <laughs> She wasn't like that per se, but I feel like she hand, she handled that like a champ. And I wish yeah. this upcoming house guests, if you getting bullied or somebody saying something, bite back, man. F these people. Right. You don't know these people. Stand up. Stand, Stand up. up. I mean, don't fight nobody. Okay, we don't want you to get out kicked out the show. But right. true, say something. I'm not, say with your speak. chest. I'm not gonna lie. Coming into this, I saw this matchup. I said I'm picking Hayden, uh, uh, Trish and Johns. They were so cooking. Flipped. They convinced me. That's three one to Jen Johnson. We'll talk three about go. her later. She won't make it past. Oh, oh. Next for both of them. X. <sighs> we got Derek, a winner of BB sixteen versus Frank Yudi from BB fourteen oh. and eighteen. Let me say this. I'm gonna give it to Frank because I wasn't a big fan of him on eighteen, but I kind of kind of got his little underdog thing on fourteen. Yes, and him constantly trying to get him out. And like I never liked Derek. He is one of the most vanilla paper towel players I have ever encountered. I like Derek, but then I got exposed to other seasons and I realized how just the cast was just me. Like he, he ran yeah. over them because the cast was hmm. I mean they the cast cheap. got three winners now. Cheap. And they, and they all got three boring in. winners. Three <laughs> of the most boring winners. All I'm gonna say, I love Frank's underdog story. I go with Derek here every time. I do like his. Um, I didn't care for Frank in fourteen, so I don't really care for his underdog story. Um, and then I definitely didn't like him in eighteen. So the, my handle name today is I'm stick beside Davon. So for that very reason, although I don't. Why care I didn't for, read yours till just now? <laughs> so although I do not care for Derek either, por- Sergeant Pork Chop, I'm going to. Oh, Pork Chop Derek. sounds so good. <laughs> Trees, you breaking the tie? Where or not a tie? Two Derek, Frank. one Frank. Frank. Going, going to, to the, the wheel. wheel. All right. Derek is ready. We need Frank. some wheel music. Let me get us some wheel music. <laughs> I really Go ahead. Don't care I'm gonna have ready for the next one. <laughs> oh, we got blue. I forget who that was. That's gonna be Frank. Frank. Go back. Frank. Hey. All right. Uh, Frank, on, Frank gonna be Derek. So I am two for two when we go to the wheel. I get what I want. <laughs> hey. Oh, uh, Teresa gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> All right, next matchup: <laughs> Taylor Hale from BB24 versus Marcellus Reynolds, BB3, the, BB7. The Ooh. the verse is in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't click it. We gotta make a choice. Cause Marcellus, you I'm you forever piss me off. How do you not use the veto on yourself? And Taylor <laughs> played the game terrible. She just got lucky. Had amazing speech. Um, but if I had to pick between the two. Woo, Lord Jesus, pray for me, Taylor. <laughs> I gotta go, Taylor. Uh, she had a little bit Actually, I give. I, let me get Taylor some more credit. She did pick up on some things. Marcellus mm-hmm. was just kind of. He was. I can't. I can't. Marcellus, he is funny. He has some of the best early diary room sessions. Loved his diary room sessions. Um, him not using veto is probably one of the most iconically stupidest things that has ever happened. The, probably at the time, the most stupid. Uh, next and to me Luan, personally, Luan I love there. stupid. I love stupid. <laughs> I love Marcellus, but I don't like stupid. <laughs> why is it that the top three stupidest moves in the game belong to black men? Because <laughs> I'm throwing in Jed from Canada. Damn, you sure <laughs> right. Why would we be doing stuff? Yeah, you, but... you see what the common denominator is, but I ain't gonna say nothing. Right. Nick. <laughs> But I'm going to go with Taylor because her speech is the best speech. She has the speech. best speech. I don't think um, in 25 seasons, and I honestly, I'm even damn near counting Big Brother Canada, she has the best speech. She does. That girl, uh, Pin is... And just her story from how yeah. she made it from the bottom to the she top. Came a lot. And her karma each week was taking out her adversaries. I'm Baby, I enjoyed that karma. I know <laughs> 
I need. Absolutely. And it started with Jasmine's ankle. Mm. <laughs> it started with Paloma. I was about to say that's Paloma true, got the ball yes, rolling. That's Actually, true, yeah, that's Paloma true. got the first. And then the like, Paloma came around everybody. and spun around that, and that, kicked that, the that, got Everybody else on the cast. Right. Yep. That Carmen is into crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So Josh, where are you going? I'm with Taylor. Sweet. You know well, what's even funny? Can I say something? What's even funny? Yeah, go ahead. All that karma coming back to everybody. Everybody tried to say, yeah, because he meet <laughs> Joseph. And he loves her. No, nah, that karma came and kicked him in the ass because he didn't get, <laughs> he didn't get picked to go on that show because he was holding out to do Amazing Race, but they broke up. Karma got mm. your ass, Joseph. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Taylor was, moving he, he on. Was, Marcellus. He, he was saying some stuff, too. Marcellus should have used a veto on himself. Ah, well, we got a cookout oh, battle. We no, the man. cookout battle. This is racist. Tiffany nah. Mitchell nah. versus no. Kyla Young. No, they they fought in the house. They Yo. fought on the challenge. Tree. Who y'all Tree got? Left the stream, bro. I can't. I can't. I, I can't, can't do, do this, this one. Reshuffle we got it. to. You Reshuffle can't. The deck. You can and you will, quoting the great Arissa Cox. You can, you can and, you and you will. will. Oh I'm, my I'm god! Going, while everyone else is gagging. I'm just gonna go ahead and start it off. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> no. go for Kylan. Okay. Oh, Kylan Kyle look good in them jeans. You sure do. <laughs> um, Kylan is my boy. This is a my hard boy. one, yo. This is hard. This Tiffany is the hardest is one. Girl. And in my head, I was like, as long as none of the cookie are going to each other, we all right. <laughs> this is sickening. And we are round sickening. one, y'all. We are round one. But while, while, while the other two cry and think, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Kylan as well. I Like, Tiffany, better player, but I am a chaos lover. And I feel like the I ultimate like chaos. in the chaos is Kylan. It, he he almost unraveled every plan. When in HOHs, he didn't have to win. Just stuff like that. I have to go with Kylan. <clears throat> Tiffany um, should have won this season, but Kylan, that, <gasps> just for me. Okay. Kylan, superb player. Tiffany, one of the best, if the best player we've seen in I don't know how long. And she's uh, a mother. And she's a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she had she had such a grip on this game, like the braids at the back of Christian's head that she was braiding. The grip was so strong that she Baby, had multiple avenues. She was gripping kitchens. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> she had so many avenues to the end of this game. It's ridiculous. Um, she is the creator of the master plan. Um, she did win AFP. Um, and so I'm going to give my vote to Tiffany. Although I love them both. In person, because I do know them both in person. I'm giving slight flex, opinion. slight flex. Go ahead, Eric. Trees, where are you going? Are we oh, going to the wheel? Easy. I can't decide, so I'm going to go Tiffany because we got to go to the wheel. Oh, we go right. to the wheel. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Like, we got to go to the wheel. <laughs> yes, Trees, like you got you got wheel music or nah? Oh, okay, oh wait, hold on. That's the last one. All right, go ahead. We'll have it ready oh. for the next one. Yep. Oh my god, I this believe is, this is bad. This is racist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is racist. <laughs> Made it on red. Ooh, red hey. is indeed Tiffany. So hey. Tiffany just know that was not our intentions. And, and look at the match. Uh, nothing, nothing against these next two, but we had to deal with that matchup. And now we got Alyssa from BB15 versus uh, Jessica from BB21. I'll start us off. Okay, Jessica has one of the most iconic HOHs because she was the one who finally separated thing one and thing two, which was Jackson and Mitchie or whatever their name was in that horrible season 21, which we also don't speak of anymore. So I'm going to give her that much, but we got to go to Alyssa Slater, sister of BB icon Rachel Riley Villegas, and she yeah. held her own in BB15. She um, despite the whole, you know, America vote and all that, that was a trash twist because we know she was gonna get it. But despite the, despite that, she did play the game the best way she could. And if it wasn't for McCray being a dummy with no brains, <laughs> she would have went further and possibly could have won that game. So I'm giving it to Alyssa. Me personally, I'm giving it to Jessica. She mm. was fun and she was a a bright point of a horrible season. I guess both of these two are, but. Jess on the wall, so no, funny. they both were oh, part of the forbidden seasons, indeed. <laughs> so, my vote is for Jess. See, I'm 
which Back racism do we like more? <laughs> Let's see, Tracy, just you know you're on mute. Yeah. All right, just checking. But okay. Um, for me, I'm 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 back and forth be, hmm. because like I was definitely rooting for Alyssa in 15. She was like the only person I was rooting for. Same as Candace and Howard. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Right, yeah, right. And I feel like the thing she did, like honestly, when she won that one HOA that she won was the walk comp where she had to also go and catch the balls. That was honestly one of the at that point one of the hardest HOH comps. It's, right. It might be, and, and also that. That save she had when she fell off and held herself on. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. Listen, that was crazy. That's that ballerina life. Them no, them what yoga she legs. She, dance, right? she was a yoga. What was it? She did. Oh yoga. yoga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like that was iconic, and I feel like every comp, the comp when she had when she won that. I don't know. I was finding myself going watching watch that one Beatle comp where it's like they she had to go and dig in the mud to find them like, electoral votes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I, found myself, I love that competition. So I always find myself going back and watching it and win, watching her win because it was so satisfying. Mm. Also, when she won OTAB and she knocked Andy upside his head to get up under that, bri- that bridge. That <laughs> oh. <win. laughs> yep, 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 yep. Right. But, and on the flip side, Jessica, like you said, probably <laughs> one of the most satisfying the HOH most satisfying. <laughs> Because yes. not only did she she unexpectedly win HOA, she also won the veto. Okay, she had all the power. All of the power that week. And you know production flipped the script. You know they was in there trying to tell her like, hey, maybe you wanna... And she was like, ah. Because nice. you seen that veto was a definitely a chance veto, so you have to spin around that thing. They make that veto harder. They ain't never been mm-hmm. hard where they have to spin and then lock something <laughs> onto the pad. Right. So that's why I'm still torn. But I... I think I'm going to give it to Alyssa because I found myself when I put, when I look back on the season, I was more actively rooting for Alyssa than yeah, I was right. for Jessica. True. True. Right. At that point, I was tuned out at 21. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say I Jessica got go my home. praise because <laughs> of what she did. I was rooting for Alyssa. I'm, she a Rachel sister. So I, I ain't going to lie. I was being biased. I root for her from June. Facts. Yeah. That's why she so, won every Alyssa. MVP or whatever. Yep. Sweet. All oh. right, Ooh, we, got we, we got we got Evil Dick one. versus Dan Giesling. It's not tough for me. I go Dan me either because Evil it's... Dick got me blocked for some reason. I don't know why he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> I ain't never said nothing did that to him. So Dan is you know my favorite I... of all time. So it's easy to pick Dan. Dick is a dick, uh, but man, he's he my favorite villain. Play. Man, he's my, he villain. is definitely my favorite villain, even though he's an asshole. Oh, easily. But definitely Definitely, Dan. Diva, right. sweet. Josh, you do perfect. dancing? Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm. Oh, next matchup. James Bye. from uh, King of the Wall of BB17 and 18 versus Kalia from BB13. Kalia BB wearing that shirt, huh? Come on, sis. Indeed. Yeah, she's, she's kind of poking it out, too. Ain't Come it? on, sis. Poke it out. Poke it out. Hey, it's over already. It's if over it already. For James Kalia. being stupid in 18 with running his mouth with Davon told him I might would have went with James but because he was dumb Kalia. but the pranks y'all don't remember the pranks that took up 15 minutes oh, yeah, every episode makes, and you know what it was I to watch on feeds because one doing nothing but the fact they put that on the show and did all that flow like we already seen this turn it off let me let me got annoying when he kept doing it I'm definitely on mode y'all doing doing Kalia but let's say how it was only Big Brother 17 James would that change your mind it would for me. I would because James and BB seventeen actually played the game. Um, but what about you, Tracy? Would se- yes, seven- yes, hundred percent agree. I don't think it would uh, change my mind because I, I think, think Kalia. Because I think Kalia stands on her own for her own game as well. She, she could have won that season. She really could. Yeah. She was on her way to win that season. And Rachel took uh, her out because she was going to win that season. She, she definitely sure could have gave Rachel a run for her money. It was very mm-hmm. smart for her to get rid of her. Um, so, so Kalia, yeah, keep Kalia. pushing. All yeah. right, got the battle of BB All Stars one. Allison, well, I guess not really because Allison was it Allison? <laughs> All-Stars, <laughs> but uh, Allison from BB four and uh, BB All Stars versus James Ryan from BB six and BB All Stars. Easy, James. James. I love James. 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 Josh, okay. James. James. Keeping yeah. it pushing. Shout out, Allison. 
Uh, Aza, don't even have to speak. I don't care. Goodbye. We got Uh-oh. Paul, the most dominant non-winner. They cooked in BB19. In 18, they were they just made it far. Versus the Aza, a Wassum. A Wilson? A Wassum. Yeah. So we have I don't care. the person with a black face and the person that did black face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very biased, Aza. Yes, I'm biased. Indeed. Too. We're going to be biased. Hey, if y'all hate us, argue with the wall. Do this yourself. The, the, link, the, the link will be available. Y'all can do this yourself. But Paul, I might have voted for you if you would um, help me out and back in college because we went to the same alma mater. Oh. He was supposed to help oh. me out with an internship, but he oh. did. So. You, re- you actually spoke to him? I mean, yeah, I spoke to Paul. Like, he, he was on the ball was on campus for various like networking events and we got connected. He was supposed to help me out with like trying to connect me to get an internship, but he kind of goes. So they me. didn't so, come through for you, huh? Nope. So if, if, if Paul had came through, I would have voted for Paul, but Paul flakes on me like all these other men in LA do. So bye-bye. All right. Uh, on to the next matchup, the June song from BB4 versus Zach Rance. I'll get us started because I know where I'm going. <laughs> Despite June being far better in almost every aspect, I'm Mr. Chaos. And the one person who was purely chaotic, I wasn't watching feeds, but Zach was pure chaos entertainment. I don't think BB16 is as good as it is touted amongst casuals without Zach Rance. Hmm. Yeah, agree, Zach. I'm gonna give it to even though I love June, but Zach. Yeah, because Zach, I don't know. I just remember vividly that one where I don't know who won veto or like something where he's like in the diary room, like crying and stuff. And like that was like that at that point, that was one of the most unscripted feeling diary room sessions I'd ever seen up to that point. That was after Frankie's reveal that he was Ariana Grande's brother or whatever. Right. Okay, that's what it was. They was really. I mean, he it, he's gonna give his money to Africa. The kids in Africa. What am I doing? Yeah, that, I, I would have been know, crying. I would have been. I need to go back and watch that season. I would have been like, "Oh, okay, I'm sending you home. I don't care what you think. You ain't gonna <laughs> send no money to the kids in Africa because I'm gonna get the money. So you not gonna send your stipend to Africa. You said what? I said send your stipend to Africa. This this five hundred thousand go home to me. Period. Well, that three, that's three, Zach, Eric, just... Part. I'm also going to vote for that. <clears throat> that's a sweep. That's Please. crazy. June got an unlucky matchup. That's crazy. Oh. Hmm. All right. Xavier, Boring winner of BB23 versus Steve from BB17. I'm going to just go ahead. As and say Eric said, boring winners. Before, I'm going to go ahead and say my speech now before y'all shoot me. I'm going to go with Steve. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. Elaborate. Okay. It's just like he kind of had an archetype of like the kind of weird, awkward nerd, which can mm-hmm. be kind of endearing to some. I kind of was in and out with it, but then also I feel like I know it's not it's not necessarily based just on gameplay, but Steve taking out Van- beating Vanessa at the final HOH and then taking her out that was good. I feel like that that was iconic because I feel like Van- if Vanessa's in final two, she wins. Oh, but man, him man. taking her out got him the win, whereas. Xavier, I feel like he kind of kind of piggybacked off of everyone else's hard work. And it's just like he, he was just kind of there. He did his own thing and his manip- the way he manipulated, if if despite him being boring and him not being my choice to win the game, um, out of all of the people and in the six, <clears throat> the way he tricked Kylan into believing that he really wanted to do a Batman versus Superman, <laughs> that right there, because Kylan that was got really- it. He was aware of the game, but X was his blind spot, and X manipulated that to the fullest because Kylan did not see his eviction coming at all whatsoever, which led to that iconic yeah, fight. Yeah, was all like, what? <laughs> it's going to be X for me. Even off, besides being off principle, me choosing X, um, that will be still the deal for me. The one thing I'll give Steve is TV show wise, I feel like he showed character growth where I feel like X hmm. is almost the same X from the beginning. But Boring. I still got to give the X. Okay. So 3-1. I, I was anti-black that round. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Uh, Kevin nope. Campbell from BB11 and BB All-Stars 2 Mm-mm. versus Matt Hoffman from BB12. See, if he was, it's just always the second season that he messing people up. If this was Kevin <laughs> It's BB11? 11? 
It'd be easy. Yeah. Fifty twenty two. Hell no. Now nah, that fifty twenty two flop flop like a fat kid jumping in a pool mat. Like Davon said, in between the toes, flip flop. <laughs> We Matt. Matt, all Matt, Matt. sweet. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. We have, I believe, four more <laughs> rounds left. Jordan Lloyd from BB11 <clears throat> and BB13 versus Michael Bruner from last season, BB24. Beto Can King, easy. Oh, I'm going to say Jordan. And Over Michael? Besides her being, besides, can I speak? You can. Besides, <laughs> besides <laughs> her, and I don't care if I lose on this one because Michael is iconic. Like, I, I was. Happy to see him tie Janelle's record. That was super impressive. I've never seen anybody just sit here and win, 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 no matter what, until it was time he couldn't win. Um, but Jan- J- what's her name? Jordan. She, Besides her being like the level of sweetheart, oh, America, she is one of the few people that can play in any season and is guaranteed to make Final Four. Because she's doing nothing in the season. Was, I don't care. Is she winning videos? No. What show you is watching? She, guaranteed. Is she doing before? strategy? No, she's sitting there. No, hell no. Her hell social no. game alone, Jordan is lovable. Nobody's voting out Jordan. <clears throat> she's sweet Jordan. That cute white blonde nothing. stuff don't... That don't do can we, can that, we say nah. that about Victoria? Any season Victoria's on, she's going to the she's going to Final Five because no. she's not a threat to be taken bumped. out. But, but Victoria got kicked out early in uh what Canada? Oh no, I'm talking about Victoria, Victoria from 16, the oh, one that oh. did nothing and Derek dragged to the end. But she got dragged. <clears throat> oh. Jordan actually had a social game though, you know what I'm saying? And she won some comps along the way as well. So, and she had some spicy moments whenever it was there. So I say that's iconic to me. The chest bump on Russell. Court. Nobody because of her social game. Nobody's taking her out pre jury. She's not winning nothing, so she's not a threat most of the jury, but then it gets down to the final four, which she made again on her <clears> second <throat> season when she played. I think it's easy for her to make it to the end every season that she plays. So, Josh, where are you going? Because I'm team Michael. Are we team going Michael to the wheel? Sure. I think we're going to the wheel because I'm Rip Jordan. All right. Oh. Let's oh, head to I the wheel. I'm going to be about myself. Oh, hold up. Hold nah, up. I'm not. <laughs> Why did you choose Jordan? Could I agree with everything you said? Thank you, Josh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Can I click it again? No. Can I click it again? Who is that's that's... Jordan will be oh, moving on. Heck. Jordan that's is red. That's what he get for being racist. I should have swapped it. So, man, crazy. Well, well, he wasn't racist. He just, utilized, he just utilized racism. There we go. <laughs> well, yeah. is, is this next round, Vanessa from BB17. Ooh. Versus Jessica Graf from BB19. Can Jessica Graf. I'll say I, this about, go ahead. about Jessica. Okay, we've learned now that everyone from 19 is kind of a piece of crap. Yeah. I will say I admire Jessica holding her own, even though she made a dumb decision by putting up Ramsey. Oh my God. Dumb, 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 dumb. dumb, dumb. That was G A S, bro. But I can give. Just for credit on two things. <clears throat> One, when Cody left, she was doing a decent job of kind of reintegrating herself into yes, the house. For sure. Yeah. So I definitely think that even after Cody left, she kind of recovered. And had Cody not come back, I do have faith that she could have maybe made it deeper into the season. She could have maybe signed up a crack or like make herself seem more of a valuable ally. Mm. And the fact that when Cody came back, she was so anti Paul. And was definitely one who was not blinded by the uh, by the bull crap. Yeah. And I in that season, I found myself even rooted for Cody, even though he was kind of openly homophobic and transphobic. You sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. And so you find you in this moment you're the lesser of two evils. In every other scenario, right. you are the evil. They were but, reminiscent of Brendan and Rachel for me, like in a newer season, because they were together, the house was against the couple, they started winning stuff to stay in the house, that underdog couple story. But I'm still not. I can see that. Vote. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm still voting for Vanessa. But I just had yeah. to get to my piece for Jessica. Got, got to give Jessica some love. But it's Vanessa all day. We also shouldn't have you told about that darn power. I ain't even vote. Oh well, it's too late. Uh, up next, we have <laughs> the Helen Kim who was pushed in BB15. Now you told me it's too late, <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> versus uh, Maggie, winner of BB6. I don't hate me yeah. on this, uh, Maggie. 
I love Maggie. She was she was she was a little evil. I love Maggie. The way she manipulated Howie into turning oh. on his alliance unsuspectedly. <clears throat> gotta go down because that turned the tide. I think I mentioned that earlier. It turned the tide. I in love her, a strategist. Favor. And she had a backbone. She did. A lot of these women, especially now, they bend in the game. She did not bend <laughs> nor break. <laughs> that is true. I love Helen though because Helen played the game. Mm-hmm. Helen, I wish she would have came back instead of Judd. And that her or Candace coming back would have been so much better than Judd coming back. Yeah. Um, because it. I know this is t- a tangent. If I was one of those people that were in the jury fighting to come back, I would have just held on the longest because it was up to whoever won, <laughs> who stayed on the longest. Forget trying to catch him. Not, not trying to catch him most. Forget mm. that. Just hold on. And that's what I would have did. <laughs> Maggie. Yeah. Josh? Maggie or Helen? I think I'm... I'm Helen. <laughs> okay. Eli, who'd you pick? I'm I'm with you, Josh. I'm I'm oh, cautiously saying wheel? Helen. So we are heading to the okay, wheel. Why are y'all choosing Helen? Give us an explanation. I'm not gonna lie. Helen's Helen. That's all I need to say. Red <laughs> is gonna be push. Helen. Wheel is going. No, we lost. We lost. Right. Helen, <laughs> Helen was indeed pushed again, and she can't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second chance is she definitely to come back <clears throat> all right two uh, rounds left ooh, of the oh. frankie sweet. grande versus eric stein this gotta be a can i be honest name. can i be honest oh lord don't tell oh, me God. what eli what eli can i say frankie no because you can you no one's stopping you but i don't i don't know if there's gonna be any support <laughs> the only support you're gonna have is ariana for that one that's it. <laughs> and that's and some really nice and that's a bad support because you know she just got exposed to being a serial home. She just be leaving. So. <laughs> no, nah, I homework. I know it's Eric. Eric is a far better player. Uh, I think he played the game. He, he did. was a great player. Actually, he did. But if he learned how not to be as cocky and so full of himself, he probably would have went further than he did. He sure. And if he didn't get BB season. rewind rewound. He yeah. probably would have maybe won that season. Very he definitely would have broke Janelle. Highly record. possible, honestly. Because he was one comp away from beating her record. But then the rewind switched the week up and took away two of those wins. And Ariana, mm-hmm. give your brother some money. Because <laughs> 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 he I, still ain't winning the money for Africa kids today. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. Eric, that's uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off and go ahead and say, um, Eric, because like him being America's player the entire brutal. season is like that, Ooh, that was that, tough it was tough and the thing is that like even with him doing whatever America said he was still did his best to make it work in he was navigating and to the point where See, like it, oh, he still could almost won that season if it wasn't for that vote they would have got deck out if it wasn't for America wanting to keep you know, mm-hmm. yeah. But you see, that's why, Big Brother, if y'all listen, that's why you need to put cast another Eric, because we know how to play the game. You let us play, we're going to play. Oh, just, Y'all ain't just, cast oh, another Eric one yet. Different trade. <laughs> y'all ain't cast another Eric yet. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, mm-hmm. Eric, 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 I'm here, too. All right. Oh, it is the battle of BB All-Star 2, everyone's oh, favorite Lord. season. Nicole is shaking. Final three, Cody Calafiore <laughs> versus Nicole Franz. <laughs> Why is she watching this right now? Can I say that I genuinely like despise them both? Yes. yes. Like this is we do. This is this is my round. I'm a Nicole like, fan. I had y'all rounds where y'all didn't want to pick, pick nobody. This is mine. Like they are so both infuriating. You yes. picking the versus? You know what? Hey, you know what? All y'all can choose not to pick. All y'all can pick the versus. I'm standing by Nicole Franzel. I'm also Nic- picking Nicole. <clears throat> Hands down, Nicole Franzel. She's the better player. I don't care. Listen, what nobody Nicole says. is annoying. Cody <laughs> is damn. annoying and boring. Yeah. Nicole just plays the victim. If she would own up to her sneaky ways in the DR, Nicole would be iconic. I'm talking about top tier. Yeah, absolutely. Like top tier. That honestly, crying foolishness. When she got rid of Ian, she should said, I am. He ain't going to know a thing. I'm taking my <laughs> exactly. best friend out this game. He gotta I would go. know that man if he walked past me. I want to act brand new. Brand new. <laughs> Rip her out the diary room. She been acting brand new. Brand new. Come on. Josh, are you <laughs> even going to pick? Or is this round just 3-0? Just as, as, as people said, give it to Princess Tuggy. 
Ah, Love to see it. What about All right, we are through the round five. of 34. Okay, now, we it down. now, now we're, we're going to see eight. some familiar faces. Dr. Will versus Brittany. Will. Dr. Will. Dr. Will. Although Especially, I will say, Brittany for, I love even though some I Brittany. love Brittany, her diary room session with uh, with about Boogie when she did the whole ring ring ring, ring hey Boogie, <laughs> that's it's that's Janelle. That's like, goodbye message. Yes, <laughs> that was a goodbye I message. I said I cannot get over Will telling these people to vote him out to their face, telling these people that y'all suck, okay. and they're like, yeah, Please. I'm gonna keep Will. So screw. So James Ryan gave me some tea on that. Okay, that was all fake. What you mean it was fake? Ooh. They knew he was going to say that. The house guests knew that? Yes. What? He said they knew he was going to say that. Absolutely. What did they, they, they him that? saying that had absolutely nothing to do. No, he just, they just knew he was going to say that. He was telling people he was going to say that. It had absolutely nothing to do with the vote. They were always voting out Jace. Well, I mean, if they, I mean, if they knew he was going to say it and they still kept them, I think they're still stupid on the other house guests. But that's why I said they were always voting out Jace, regardless of what he said that night. Yeah, but it's Jace still was stupid. It was very stupid, but his oh, okay, okay. had to do with it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Nah. Well, it's Dr. Will. I vote for Brittany because I love Personally, you some Brittany. Brittany, but game-wise, I'm going with but Will. The way he had, what's the name under his spell? Janelle under his spell. Most of that game, that was... Janelle. Janelle was crushing. Now, oh. next matchup, BB12 matchup. Brendan versus Matt Hoffman. Brendan for me. Brendan. I'll go with the All first the- who did better on this season. I'll vote for Brendan. All right, that's the sweet. Where your broom? Uh-huh. Oh, now we have Kalia, mm. BB13 versus Jesse, Mr. Spectacular. The pets uh, are spectacular. Jesse. Jesse for me. I'm with Tracy, Jesse. I think you know, it's Kalia, Kalia for me. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I just love her BB13 game and just in general underdogs. And I know Jesse was an <laughs> underdog and got screwed. And Jesse's a. It might be a better play. I don't know, but I'm gonna also. Say, I, I want to go with Jesse. Um, because I Kalia, I didn't care for Kalia as, as person in the game because who she was going up against. But in terms of iconicness, I think J- he was screwed a lot. Um, I'm gonna go with Jesse. True. All right, Jesse three one. Hmm. Ian Terry Ooh, versus uh, Alyssa from BB15. Ooh, that BB22 kind of game. Here we go again. That BB22 game, though, <laughs> is coming back to bite. They hey, he wasn't. Season. He no chance, though. He was in. He, he wasn't in that big old alliance. The pregame alliance. F one week five instead of throwing it. You like know what? This is personal. I'm going with Alyssa. Cause Ian, he was he was he was under, he was being stupid. I'm sorry, in 22, and could have shifted the game. He yeah, he ain't dumb. Sure. He knew he had to know Nicole and that line. He had to. I need to. We need to talk to Ian because we need to. What did you know, Ian? Because I still to this day <laughs> don't know what he knew <laughs> in that game. And so, although he played a phenomenal game in my opinion on 14, and yes, Dan should have won, but he didn't, and Ian did win, and I think it was a deserving win, although he shouldn't have won. What I'm was going it to that go with he Alyssa. did? What was it that he did on 22 that everybody attacked him for? He didn't do nothing on 22 that he got. He was just yeah. Like, everybody got on him for something on 22. Oh, they were apology. they were talking. Oh, because he was. Oh, he said those lesser players. He had said lesser players, and it was including all the black people. Mm. Yeah. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa. I'm a, I'm a simple person. I see BB14. That's my personal favorite season. Mm. And I pick Ian. Okay. You're racist. Next. Wait, who, <laughs> what did Josh vote? Josh I know. We're vote. waiting on Josh. We're waiting on Josh. We going to the wheel or is Alyssa? I feel like we have to go to a wheel. And that's all right. We ain't going to just win. I'm going for Alyssa. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Y'all supporting BB15. Who would have thought BB15 uh, makes the Sweet 16? Scream. All right. Oh. Next round. Vanessa, Vanessa versus Howie. Okay. Are we keeping it pushing? Lawyer, Bay. Easy Vanessa. Lawyer. She ain't no lawyer. Ain't I was about lawyer? to say. She she a lawyer. Poker player. Poker player. Who was the, oh, you know what? It was her wife that's a lawyer, right? Mm, I, I, mm. Don't I don't know. Somebody's a lawyer. It might be her wife. Mm. Okay, anyways, Vanessa. Vanessa. I swear she went to um law school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna 
<laughs> Rachel Riley versus get Tyler that broom Crispin. out, Josh. Get that broom out. Look, but before, but, but, before, but, you, but before you click on it, before you click on it, because we all know we voting for Rachel. I just gotta yes. say, in comparison to these pictures, one of them has the hair just laid to the gods. <laughs> the other one looks like fried ramen noodles. Come on. So you go ahead and click on Rachel. Hey, not too much on my boy, Tyler. I, I do a lot of your boy. Trace, you voting for Rachel? 100%. 100%. Tyler's a goat, but yeah. Mm. We keeping it. All right, next round, uh, Danielle Donato, Trace also Jackson. known as Danny Donato, because she played in 22 versus mm. uh, Xavier Prather. <laughs> Look, I didn't vote for him last round, and I'm not gonna vote for him this round. I'm voting for Danny Brown. <laughs> he said little Bill would not get his vote. Um, <laughs> I'm voting X. In terms of I come boring a little bit, but a little bit. He played the game. I'm gonna vote for X as well. Ooh. Eli? Looks like we're going to a wheel because I I just can't. I mean, X yeah. is a face of the most iconic. A lot, or not face. No, you see my face. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, a, he's face a winner. Lil first Bill black who? winner. First black winner, yeah, which is very iconic. <laughs> Kylan like, is honorable mention. <laughs> right. It's tough because yeah, X is the first black winner. If I think purely who's provided me the most fun, entertaining moments, veto wins. Danielle. It's it's Danielle. So I can go to the wheel. I almost voted for that. Red will be Danielle. Blue will be X. And And it looks like and it looks like Danielle has taken it. Hey, I ain't even mad at it. Oh, that's one. You can't be mad. If X would have got it, I would have been happy. Now we got Janelle. Y'all know Janelle from all of her 20 tries versus Aza. This is Vanessa did go to law school. I knew I was right. I had to look that up, y'all. Did she, she graduate she passed. law school? She passed. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, she's just officially like- a lawyer. Right before she Wait. had twins. Oh, okay. So after BB. Okay. Got yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I meant like now, today. This was like maybe like a year or two ago she finished oh, law school. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. She's going to be a good lawyer. Where's she at? Because I'm. Listen, hmm, I might need Neither. you. Um, Eli being shady, talking about Janelle's 20 seasons. That's revenge for Keisha getting knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. But I still love me some Janelle. I and Janelle her. versus Aza. I have bias. Love me some Aza. Mm. I love Aza. And I'm biased towards Aza because Aza's my friend. I'm not going to count BB22 right now at this moment because Janelle just has so much great gameplay. Um, I love Aza. And she, wasn't but I even to bad. and she wasn't even bad in 14, if we're being completely honest. She just I don't need mine got... 14. BB22 just got to go for me. Hey, BB22, she threw that jab at Nicole. At least she did. I just didn't like her because I found out who she was in the real world on BB22, and I didn't mm. like that. Well, she should have stayed her ass off Twitter. Right? We found That's what she should have did. Yeah. She should have stayed off Twitter. She should have shut her mouth. Because now we don't like you. I'm not going to lie. Know. I think it's Aza. Okay. It, it's, yeah. it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all go. We tied up, huh, Josh? Who you picking? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Cause like you know, I love Aza. That's my girl. Mm-hmm. Right. She's been my employer once or twice. And um, <laughs> but I just think that if we take in out the personal connection, yeah. Mm. Okay. Even though I didn't want to, I didn't even vote for her last round. But I'm a, <laughs> I did. I'm a. I'm a vote for. I'm. Janelle. I, th- I think I'm flipping. I think I'm also going Janelle. I hate to do it. I think Josh is right. I, I, I got I, personal in my bones, which is fine. I'm missing bias. We could be biased. Personal. We can. And yeah. I, Janelle, I will give my vote to the, but I'm, because everybody's flipping and that's cool, I'm going to stick with Aza. But I do know that Janelle is. If we had to go based on everything, we know. And y'all support our girl Aza at House Chops. She's doing Please a. Do. Uh, Indeed. Event before, after, and during the season. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you come see us out in LA, we all gonna be there for the house shops in LA. We all ah! gonna be there. There you go. Mm. 
They 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 tried to take out our black queens. They are. They I said only one Monica. can make it. We uh, have Davon versus racist. Monica. Why they put the why, when you put the black people up against each other's racist? That's that's what we get for not picking Aza. It's it's what we get. They said mm. y'all don't pick Aza. You, here you go. Get rid of another black woman. We know Davon is always gonna have my vote. I'm sorry. She changed the literally gave us her speech, gave her eviction. She speech. had a great she has one of the best eviction speeches. Changed the game in so much that it gave us our first black winner. Like it inspired CBS to do the 50% people of color casting, which in turn gave us the cookout, which in turn gave us our first black winner. And she was the first black person to win AFP. Which is how we became a podcast because of Davon when you really look at it. Yes. Oh my God. Like <laughs> honestly, when you when you go full circle, okay, Davon, I'm over Davon. Just best friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, man, I'm also going Davon. And I love Monica. Monica she yeah, was Monica always too. straight up. She gave that house the business. Gave that half the business. Even on her way out, she told Nicole, you can keep it, girl. I knew this was happening. <laughs> you wasn't fooling me. We got you, Will, baby. I'm see you on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. But they bond. All right. Josh, Josh said, just. <laughs> oh. oh. Next <laughs> round, Anthony. Jordan Lloyd, Eric's I fought, favorite. I fought for Jordan last time, but she stands nowhere near mm-hmm. to the. Versus point. the Tiffany Mitchell. Look, I didn't vote for Tiffany last time, but I'm going to rectify that. I'll vote for Tiffany. Look, this the time. Tiffany. Oh, indeed. The same the job. Easy. Same. Hmm. Oh, we oh, know who won this war. To the Dan land versus Frank. Room. Come on, Josh. You know. Get that broom out. Dan De- Frank thought he had Dan. <laughs> and Dan got that man while he was in a carrot costume. We booed him and- so good. Oh, yeah, they were on the same season together. Yeah, yeah they, they were. Dan. Dan, dan keeping dan, it pushing. Dan, dan, dan. Mm. Oh, it's oh, tough, but it's not. Danielle Reyes versus Zach Rance. He said it's tough, but it's not. Danielle. Said, to the left, to the left. I still say Danielle. I'm going to say Danielle. We got a broom. Yeah. There go another that, That's why I say it's tough, because I love me some Zach Rance, but it's not tough. It's Danielle Reyes. <laughs> mm. Oh, easy. Mm. What a broom again. Keep the broom Bismo out. Cowboy I, versus point, James Ryan. Uh, James, we're just going to James Ryan. You already know. Oh, oh, another easy one. Another <laughs> Libra, Libra versus Maggie. Libra, Josh, hands Josh, down. just keep the broom out. Just keep the that's keep oh, the broom out. <laughs> keep the broom out. Eric, easy. Taylor Eric. Hale versus Eric. Is that is that Eric easy? I think Eric easy. You had oh, present your case. Yes. You you going Taylor over Eric? No, but oh, sweet next. But, <laughs> but, but what? Wait, I, okay, I'm gonna just say. You just feel these like two, I'm sorry for her. That's why you want to vote for Taylor. These two are probably the most uh, deal with the most turmoil. Eric could have played the game. This actually, Taylor, that's a good matchup. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Taylor couldn't play the game and then had to get picked up week three, four, whatever it was. Yeah. It's still Eric. That's a good comparison, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But still want Eric, but <laughs> great comparison. This guy gives some love to Taylor for her speech again and just all she went through. But oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Is, is that all TV 24 gone? Who said it all, all she went through? Maybe. <laughs> I was fine though. I just made my broom balance. Ooh. Hey. It's magic. I like All right, final me. round of the round of 32. Jen Johnson uh, versus Franzel. I hate this, but I'm going Franzel. Nicole. I'm Look, also Josh is, fr- Josh is Josh. Uh, close your mouth, boy. <laughs> you know he I thought y'all were going girl. with Jen because I'm going with Franzel. I didn't I vote like for Jen. Jen in the first time, so why would I vote for her this time? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she's she's Jen Johnson. She has so many moments. She's Jen literally, City. She's literally genius. What other you... shirts does she have? <laughs> Jen Because what she she has a uh gushing bunny costume incident where what's her name was like Crying and Jen's just in the bunny costume. And Jen crying like, uh, over memory wall. Because Jen her, her that picture. HOH. Yeah. Yeah. She bawled over her picture, but she didn't <laughs> cry getting burned with a cigarette. Jen, come on, sis. Right. Pick your priorities, right. girl. Nicole. Love you, Jen. Randall. I, I, I want to take it to a wheel, but I can't. All right, sweet oh. sixteen. Oh, Rachel God. Riley versus Vanessa Russo. Rachel. Easy for me, Rachel. 
All right. Shout out to Vanessa. For, uh, no, I, I just love me a strategist, and we all know Vanessa is a lot more of a strategist than Rachel. Yeah, we stopped two strategists for sure. But Rachel is, I would almost say, the face of that middle, middle yeah. pack of big brother. If you aren't including mm-hmm. Dan, or like after, not, not including Dan, I feel like she's the face yeah. of what makes big brother fun. So I agree. It is Rachel. Ooh, Dr. down to Will. the final eight. Final eight, y'all. Ah. Dr. Will versus Alyssa. It's, it's Will. We keep no pushing. Will. Yeah, Will. Bye, Alyssa. We made it, sis. Hey, you made it pretty far. BB15 yeah. made it to the Wait, Sweet 16. who was our final eight? Like, can we It's going like, to show us. All right, after, after this, we'll go through and see who's left. Because we're still 16 people left. After oh, this, oh, we were eight. I thought yep. we were eight. Me okay, too. That's my I did too. Yep. There's eight oh, rounds. I was reading two of eight. 16. That's what I was looking yep. at. Why? Wow, okay, I feel like they're going to do a matchup, this one matchup. <sighs> oh, easy was it, was it? Dan. Dan versus Brandon. I'm voting for Brandon. I, I'm sorry. Yep. You I'm love bias. Real Have your bias. But I'm not going to say it. What you about to say? I was going to say something real inappropriate, but I'm not, I ain't going to say it. What Put in the chat. Say? say it with your chest. It's very inappropriate. Put Next. it in the chat that we can see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dan for me, easy. Not Dan. Well, what Tracy about to say? I'm just waiting to see what she got to say. This Wait, Tracy, did you say Dan? Is that 3 1? Yes. All right, 3 mm-hmm. 1. Brendan is done. Oh, the, the <laughs> battle. Is- <laughs> the battle of. BB All Stars, the only few that we pretty much had throughout the whole season. Uh, right. Janelle versus Nicole Franzel. Dang, Trees, what was you about to say? Trees typing. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey, why would you ever say that? <laughs> Trees is being Trees right now. <laughs> definitely, definitely being Trees. I am flabbergasted. Because <laughs> that is not what I thought you were going to say. Oh my, oh my God. God. <laughs> that was, that, that was out of left Trees field. I'm in awe. It was inappropriate. <laughs> Very inappropriate. <laughs> Need Rennie's face back. No. Get in okay. my head. <laughs> Janelle. All right, Janelle versus Franzel. It's Janelle. Is it Janelle? Uh, I'm choosing Janelle. 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 Nice try, Franzel. <laughs> Janelle, for sure. Maybe you should have said something with your chest, Franzel. <laughs> then, maybe. Then it would have been a different vote, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Man, y- y'all remember in All Stars when she said, uh, uh, I want to give have not to Janelle. Oh, did I say that? Oops. Or what, hey, whatever said, she said. Stop. She said, stop. <laughs> Don't even be doing oh, that. Oh, for talking behind my back. I picked Janelle. Oh, I said that. <laughs> oh, that girl. I'm going Jesse. Uh, all right. Next matchup, Mr. Pectacular <laughs> versus Danielle Donato. Spectacular. I'm going Jesse. Eli, what you thinking? My my heart or my mind's telling me to pick Danielle. But I'm picking Jesse. Okay. That's fine. Who you picking, Eric? I said Danielle. Danielle. Josh, you said Dan too? I, I said oh, oh, he ain't. We didn't pick yet. He, he, I, he now he's like, oh, I'm like, you know, I like Jesse, mm-hmm. and I like two thirds of Danielle. <laughs> I know. I like more. I like Jess since Jesse gets a vote as a whole person, and Danny is split because I'm like half of her. That's the only reason why I gave it to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tracy? Cause you two face. I, I, I vote for Jesse. At least Jesse gave us right. his face. <clears throat> That's three <clears throat> one. <clears throat> Jesse moving on. That's crazy though. <laughs> Ooh, right. Ooh. Battle of the six placers. But it's not really a battle because for me, 
It's Tiffany. That's a tough one. I love. I really love. And listeners, I this really matchup like is Tiffany Mitchell versus James Ryan. I love James, but ooh, the OG Vito. I King. love Tiffany more than James, though. Tiff, Tiff, Tiff. Tiff. All right, that's a sweep. Love you, James. <laughs> Josh didn't even vote. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah I yeah, thought he did. Oh, Tiff. Oh, I'm going Eric. Next matchup: Libra versus Eric Stein. Stein. <laughs> E money. Love me some Libra. But Love E money. Same, same. Josh. Eric. Yeah. It's a sweet uh, Libra. Uh, I love imagine, you, imagine if I mean, we Libra. got Libra over Keisha. <clears throat> I don't know if it would be any different in All Stars. It probably would have been. Oh, I think so. Libra wouldn't have been first boot. The Libra would have put in that word. No. I think Keisha she said she don't want to come back, though. She definitely yeah. said she's not coming back. But yeah, I would have loved respectable. Libra over Keisha. All yeah. right, Eric Stein, moving on. I knew that. Why ah, did I know going to do this? this racism. Is, racism. 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 They said alert. you can only have one. Bl- oh wait, we have Tiffany. Only two black women in the and the uh, next vote going to be put Tiffany up against whoever wins this one. Watch. So we got racism. Danielle Reyes versus I, Davon no. Rogers. I wish I would have said it. Yeah. Before I'm going with Davon, but if I would have said <laughs> before we started this second round, I said, Watch them put Davon up against somebody like Tiffany or something. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be up against another black woman. That was <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <clears throat> Danielle, she just don't contribute nothing to the game anymore, so she don't. I don't know, you know, what's Davon but- contributing? Davon ain't been on the show. That's the one, what do you mean? She gave us what we you got. See- this new era is because of her. Oh, okay. I, I give you saying. Okay. Yeah. I mean, true, true. And Danielle. And plus another nail is the memes. True, yeah. true. And they, and they still, and they still yeah. give it. Yeah. yeah. But Danielle is iconic. She is. Like, she she should have been the, the first black two. woman winner. She should have been the she first should've. black winner. Yeah. And even and, in BB All-Stars, she held her own. And, and where did she, she make played, it? Five? She made it to seven. Seven. I really need yeah. to go back and watch BB All Stars. Yeah. I might watch that for the Danielle season. getting robbed is now why the jury gets sequestered. No, I lied. Yeah. She made it to six. I'm sorry, six. So, she got six. So also, <laughs> she literally changed the game because of how bad she was robbed. Yeah, that is true. Big rob. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still voting for David Devon. I think I think just purely on the influence that Devon has had, I feel like even outside of Big Brother <laughs> realm. People know of Davon because of oh, it's an opening the the door gift door, or wait a, wait a day minute. minute, yeah, yeah, yeah. So or, Josh, oh. where are you at? I think that's that's my favorite two one. one. Davon, Josh, are we going to the wheel or is Davon moving on? I think Davon's moving on. Davon yep. is moving on. Hey, to see Danielle, Danielle go though. here. We got to meet Danielle. Oh, I got All to right. meet it. So oh. we are now we are now in the final eight, and our Easy. eight that we have left are, as you say, as you see right now, Rachel and Eric about to lose his mind. We have <laughs> Dan Geasley, Doctor Will. This Jesse, is Eric's red pill or blue pill. <laughs> we got Janelle, Eric Stein, and Davon. So okay. let's get it started with this matchup. The this Battle of the Queen. I'm gonna go ahead. Ridiculous. I'm gonna just say it and I'm gonna go in my turtle shell. I vote for Rachel. Rachel. I gotta be I, quick with it. Rachel, this is crazy because you got the person I started this game with, well, my love for the show with, and you have this woman who just completely captivated, you know, this new era of the game and took it by storm. Uh, this is not this is not fair at all. Um, I really want to just say the verses because I can't choose because I love them so much. So it's the opposite of we can't stand you. You can I and love you will. Them. You can I'm gonna, and you uh, will. Rachel, you won. So I got to give Tiffany something. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Rachel. You won, that's a favorite. That don't count. Is Tiffany the best player of the 20s so far? In some of the teams too. Yes. yes. Shoot. And she done outplayed a lot of people from one through twelve too. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> I think I think I still have to go Rachel though. Rachel okay. is we not just Big Brother. Wheel. We not even. Do we no. take it to the wheel? No, it's three one. 
<laughs> yeah, it's Rachel. I'm sorry. I love me Tiffany. Yeah, it's Rachel. I love, I love Rachel Tiffany. too. So I'm really I'm sad, but I'm like I'm happy because I love. Nah, Rachel. you stay with hey, Tiff. Give give a all, all, all I'm gonna say. Love. All I'm gonna say is Tiffany would have made the final four with a long list of matchups yeah, that yeah. we have left. But sure. she went up. She's up against Rachel. Yeah. So it's Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> all right another bb know. all-stars 2 match maybe bb all-stars 2 wasn't that bad because look at how many people we talked no, about was, on it was very it was terrible. terrible what it could have been uh i'm going we got janelle, janelle versus davon janelle because i know y'all gonna choose janelle so i gotta stick beside davon no matter what yeah because so. i gotta do overall yeah i gotta go with janelle even though i love davon janelle i think i also have to go with janelle I'm just gonna let my bias. My bias is really kicking in these last couple rounds, but which is okay. all good. Josh, it is all good. Is... Josh, it's real. It's tough. Hey, hey, I, I, I knew right. I could. I could depend on Josh. I was waiting for a time for me to get try to get Janelle up out of here. I didn't vote for the first time, and I, I only had to reluctantly vote for all these other rounds. Red will be Janelle. Blue will oh. be Davon. Who will win? Oh no. I mean, yes. I mean, it's a win win either way. Uh, Who's that, Janelle? Who won? Janelle blue. won. Who is blue? It is Davon Rogers. Oh, hey, Davon hey, Rogers, ladies okay, and hey. gentlemen. Hey, I ain't mad hey. at it. Has taken down Janelle is in, and is in the final four. Oh, why does it oh, have to be this matchup? Oh, because this I know what's coming next. I saw this matchup and I'm immediately thinking on the next one. Oh, yeah. But, you know who's next. But Eric. in front of us we have Eric and Jesse. <clears throat> I think it's I think it's Eric. Not Easy Eric. Eric. I'm not gonna played. lie. All I'm gonna say is Eric. It, there's a term in basketball. It's Mickey. It, it's it's Mickey. It's fake. He's had a fake run. Yeah. Where there's a lot of people that have left. Where have, I would yeah. probably pick over Eric. Most definitely. <clears throat> but Eric's been getting the matchups. I pick Eric. He's got lucky. You, you know, it's making up for his unluckiness from his actual season, so... Which they should have brought him back instead of Memphis. They should have. He 100% should have. I wonder if they but, even called him. Probably not, because they dumb, but... Yeah. Y'all didn't hear that from me. All yeah, right, ladies and it. gentlemen. <laughs> we have Ooh, this Dr. Is like one of the Will. Best, this is one of the, like, verses of Big Brother history. It is the main one that everybody... The main hey, one. If you go back... <laughs> Which white man ago. is more superior... Indeed. <laughs> even though they try to throw Sergeant Porkchop up there with them, and no, he really can't no, compete. In. No. He can't compete where he don't compare. I mean, there's a reason Derek got first rounded. There is, and these two are here. I'll get and... it started because I'm biased, and it's it's Dan. Dan is Big Brother in my eyes. He's everything. He's the male version. Me. Yeah. He had shoot no, not even male. He's more than. Rachel, he is big brother. The amount of entertainment, the amount of turno- turmoil, the amount of like gameplay he had in terms of just chaos, <laughs> playing the game, having right. fun. Like, when I, agree. I think of a big brother player I want, it's Dan, just someone that's willing to like take risks and but like he's not. have fun with it. Here's the thing. He's all over, he, overall, he has it. He causes Absolutely. the drama. He's strategic. He knows how to win a comp. Never Social been a <laughs> Yep. Um, He's told the package for me. Dan is definitely going to get my vote. I will say he is scared to come back, even though he's like, I can't. I have family now. I have kids. What kind I of I wouldn't want to, too. Because he would have to be more court- cutthroat than he was. And he said he can't do that anymore. I could do it easy. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and when he comes back on BB26 with Derek X and uh, Dan cooks Derek X. You know what? They can always bring him back for a pure coaching season. Not no comeback in the game coaching, but a pure coaching season. Definitely I don't want to ever back. see a coaching season ever again. Why? I'm talking about a pure coach season. Though. Yeah, I don't want to see that. No, if you need I to don't be coached in Big Brother, I don't. I, the season is going to be tainted for me. Bring people in to play. Yes. If you're in the house, you got to play. I don't want people to be like, uh, I'll do all the talking Agreed. for you. I don't even want to see the I'll fake I'll make coaches. all your alliances. Oh, I'm kidding. playing now. I don't want to see that either. It was cool. Yeah. For the season it did it, but don't want to see it again. Now, Josh, what are your thoughts on this storied Big Brother argument? Dr. Will or Dan? Dan. Easy? Yeah. Eric, you did Dan or Will? 
I did do the win, but I must just flip it to Will because the way <laughs> you he said it can't those, be a sweep. It has to it be can't three be a one. Sweep. It can't be a sweep because Will, the way he did in All Stars, his game, everybody knew Will what he was and what he did coming into that game, and the fact that they left him in this game week after week Cheap. after week after cheapies. Week. Yep. So I'm still going to right. I agree. A here. near masterful game in four. Yep. Indeed, I. In my mind, this is a final two, Ooh. but we're seeing this in the round of eight. So I'm got to pick one. This was ever my final two, like in real it's life. It's kind of like a like, Rachel ah. versus Janelle. If that was to happen, I thought that was gonna happen too. Honestly. Well, when I click this, we might have Rachel versus Janelle because what we oh, I Janelle's, like gone. Wait, Janelle's gone. Yeah, off the day wrong. Oh, you're yeah. you're so right. Well, I'm gonna click this. We'll see who's our first matchup in the final four. Ah, they wrong. We got, the, <laughs> oh. we got the women. We got Rachel versus Davon. We are just testing Eric's loyalty <laughs> every around every corner. Who's he gonna support? Whose back does he have? Why would they? He started this show support? with Rachel. Davon <laughs> is his best friend. And the, Rachel Davon is versus the one who, Day, and she's the hmm. one who reinvigorated my love for this game because it was getting stale. Oh, definitely, I want, Rachel. I want, first. I want, I want Eric. I want you to answer first. Yeah, no, okay, go you ahead. don't. You don't want me to answer first. Yes, I do. Because you can't flip last minute and say, "Oh, everyone's exactly. on Davon. Ten, everyone's ten on to- Rachel." All ten, to- ten of your toes stand down. All ten of my toes. Oh God, I can't <clears> do it. <laughs> you can and you will, Negro. But I will, but I won't do it first. No, nah, okay. I already you, said you. mine, Rachel. So now go. You're second. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna choose Rachel anyway, but no, maybe. Now we we. I was about to say you you said that I'm last time. I'm choosing Davon. I'm choosing Davon. All right, Josh. Devon. But Rachel is so iconic. Like, oh my god. But I'm who's choosing. more iconic, Rachel or Davon, for you? But when I think of Big Brother, mm. you want to say Rachel? Yeah, that's a good Rachel. question, Eric. Davon, know you love her. Go on and say Rachel. She, she does know that I love her. But if Josh want to bring it to a wheel, I'm all for the wheel again. I, I, yeah, but, Josh is going next. I'm going last. So, Oh, Eli decided he going last. The other flip-flopper. <laughs> I, know, no, I know where I'm going. I'm just making sure you don't send it to a wheel automatically. Mm-hmm. Trying to cheat. <laughs> exactly. I peep game. What? Oh, no, he peep game. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're, we're fighting here. I'm not saying nothing. You go first. <laughs> oh, Eli put his foot down. What? This okay, is crazy. all of a sudden he, he got to put some bass in his voice. Okay. Um, he did. Mm. I am going to go. Oh. Where are you going? Let us know. Rachel Rachel. Riley, Davon Rogers. Rachel. I go with Rachel. I can't fault mm. you for that. Who'd you I pick, Ela? Well, it's gonna be three one. Devon has had one hell of a fight. She did, but she falls she to the hands of Rachel Riley. Actually, it's the we love you, Dave. Hands, but it's okay. Day, I love you, Rachel. Though you are my girl, you were my girl from the beginning. So now Thanks. that my support you know. day, she got a reality show coming out. Forgot the name of it, and we have no idea. And really she has her own YouTube channel. channel. Is it the Goat? Yeah, she, she be putting anything on her YouTube. She don't put nothing. Yeah, she got. Her, she got. Yeah, you ain't seen oh. the new videos. It's oh, called, she, oh, she got more my day t- Yeah, it's called My Day-to-Day Life. Oh, okay. I didn't know she was doing a little life blog. Okay, yeah. I'm put that on. Shout out today. Mm-hmm. Shout out today? Bit. Shout but she got to go. All right. <laughs> oh, well, Dan Giesling versus Eric. Eric Stein. This is the end of the road. Big Eric. Dan, obviously, Dan. for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our final. I'm going to click this. And we will see Dan Giesling versus <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Rachel Riley. I two love how- faces <laughs> of Big Brother. Yeah. I love how all our black asses ended up with these two white people to pick out of. <laughs> <laughs> but well, hey, we give, would. give us 10 more years. Hey, these give us 10 more people, years. Though. These are these are great white people. I love you, white people. <laughs> I, I love you. Dan. I love Rachel. I really love do. Them. Love this is a good one. I would love to hear a final two speech between them two, honestly. Oh my god, I would love to hear that. Yeah, 
we have to see them play the game first, though. Mm-hmm. Do you imagine if these two showed up on All Stars? Like that'd be oh a true All Stars. True All Stars. But instead, we got David Alexander. Shout out David Alexander, and we got Kevin, uh, and we got all those people that we are not Christmas. Out David Alexander or that that one foot felling. That one foot. <laughs> I was about to say, but we're missing out on these two. I I know <laughs> that they each have their own circumstances, and I'm not gonna lie. If these two never want to play again, I'd be sad. He doesn't ever want to play again. She does want to play again. Mm-hmm. And so. everyone would love to see him because they are just big brother. Just yeah. from moments, from lines that they've said, like, gosh dang, no one can get in between me and my man. Like, that's... <laughs> just game. They both had grit. They had determination. They had to overcome odds. They played in this you know social at times they had to win comps at times manipulated for some they you know others they say it was rigged but i don't really care because no matter what happened Frech was gonna get to the end in 13 um we have people they say were robbed dan was robbed but was he really robbed yes he was <laughs> rachel truly- was even like brought in for a punishment of pandora's box they said pandora's box we are bringing in Rachel. Like, you can't get any more <laughs> iconic, just uh, ultimate face of just entertainment right. than just like, hey, we're just twice. sending her in the house to be chaotic. She was Pandora's box punishment twice. Oh, the one with Ian as well? Is that the one you're yeah. thinking of? Where yes. he got locked in the room oh, <laughs> with right. Rachel? He had to listen to her laugh, yeah. Yeah. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> The queen of HOH and the master manipulator, Dan. Dan. Mm. Who's I'm going to give my vote. I did not give her my vote last round. You know, you give your vote who you want to. You don't be giving your vote just because you ain't give it to him. But I'm giving her my vote this round because she is I know Rachel. When I think of Big Brother. Rachel was automatically somebody I would love to see play again and again okay. and again. Not that, and not that I wouldn't want to see Dan play again, but I want to see Rachel play again. Okay. Now, 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 I, I got a, I got a question. Out of the an seasons answer. listed, 10, 12, 13, and 14, what's the best one there? 10. 10. Mm. Eric? Josh? Mm-hmm. What's the best season there? 10? Eric, you have to admit... Yeah. Ten is. I say ten is undisputed. <laughs> Eric it's do not want to yeah. say. This <laughs> could have been anybody not... else. He do not want to say nothing against Rachel. <laughs> Rachel is your that. white Davon. <laughs> she, she, she is. She was who I, you know, my person before Davon came right. into this game. Right, right, right. It's crazy. Rachel, so they, Rachel is my beginning. Mm-hmm. Davon is my middle, really. And then if I have to think about this new era, then we have Tiffany Tiff. Mitchell. Mm-hmm. You love iconic women, huh? I do. I love these women. I've <laughs> always rooted for the women. I don't care what nobody. I've always hmm. went in these games. And did Rachel the take both anyway. of them out? <laughs> she did. We've had some rough matchups. Danielle versus uh, Davon, was it? And then <laughs> oh, Tiffany yep. versus Rachel. And Tiff. Like, like what? Mm. But for me, it's a it's a simple vote just because my first season was 14. I went back, watched 10. Mm -hmm. 12 and 13 are great. I guess the only knock against Rachel is Rachel wasn't there for all of 12. Like, at least Dan was there both of the seasons running things. Even though I I will say Rachel's probably more entertaining if you're looking at it, like, for specific moments. But the amount of chaos that Dan caused... And just, I don't, he's, he's, it's Dan for me. That's all I'm going to say. Josh, is it Rachel? Is it Dan? Where are you going? I don't know. It's tough because I'm kind of in the same boat as Eric. Like, I started, like, Rachel Roddy was my OG, like, yeah. big brother person. But mm-hmm. at the flip side, like, two of my favorite seasons are 10 and 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 14 was a good season for sure. 14. Yeah, 14 was a good season. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm like so torn because I like both for different reasons. Like, those two are literally, I would say, my top two seasons, 10 and 14. I thoroughly mm-hmm. enjoyed both of those seasons. And Dan definitely contributed to that. 
We're going to have to give America a vote. <laughs> no, because, like, how do you, when you're looking at these two people, like Eli's mentioned multiple times, like, when you think of Big Brother, you typically, you think these are two of the people that you're going to think of <clears throat> most. You know, and they've just com- both contributed so much to the game of Big Brother. It's really hard to just choose one, and it comes down to it. But mm-hmm. I'm giving my vote to Rachel because I started this journey with her, and I got to stick beside her. She's iconic <laughs> in her own right. She's the queen. And me <laughs> thinks when I break it when I break that break it down <clears throat> for me, like Dan, like did do a like Rachel was kind of specifically the reason why I like 12 and 13. Okay. Whereas 10 and 14, I liked overall, but it wasn't specifically because of Dan. Mm. Mm. So me thinks because of that, I got to give my vote to Rachel. All I'm going to say, all I'm going to say is Rachel is not doing what Dan did to Shane at Final Four. She That's not- one of the... She's not even in that position. <laughs> he got he got Danielle to use a veto on him. Oh, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. And said, "Yes, we're getting rid of Ian. We're getting rid of Ian." And what did he do? <clears throat> Captain America, Shane, you're out of here. Jaw dropped by Danielle. It like in my mind, well, I don't think Rachel has a moment where she made a move that made people's mouths drop. Dan right. has may, multiple of those. She well, may not have situation. made our mouths drop. She may not have made our mouths drop, but let's talk about how she got Shelly to vote for her in the end, which gave her the win because Shelly's supposed to vote for the newbies. But Rachel had conversations with Shelly the week Shelly was going home. It was like, Shelly, you should win this game. And I will vote for you who's at the end of this game. And that conversation that they had that week really stuck with Shelly because Shelly ended up giving her that vote. So people say Rachel's not a strategist. She not, but she has so many moments. I think she got a little team. bit of strategist in her bones. Not because, a lot, and, but I, I think she do. And the mm-hmm. fact that she did not go home next to Lawan, I don't care what he said. No matter what Lawan said, Rachel should have been voted out. But she did. She was not. Now, was she that production, that though? Was that production? No, because the house was stupid. <laughs> I, I can't blame production for that one. <laughs> Danielle wanted <laughs> Rachel out and Rachel was having a conversation. She made them food. She was acting weak compared to Lawan. She was up in that HOH room moping around like she had given up and she really played that social game aspect up. So, so what's that? A tie? Tree. Yeah. Josh, are you All officially right. on Rachel? Here we go. Well, to ladies and gentlemen, to finish this, Big Brother, Red will be. Let me write this all out. Yeah, you should just put Rachel. I was just gonna say you should just put Dan and Rachel. How you spell Rachel? Rachel. R A C H E L A L. Yeah. All right. Whew. Wheel is going. I'm clicking a couple times. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, our man. official, <laughs> our official, a who all gonna be there? Iconic BBUS player. Nah. Is he yeah. one? The only. I love Rachel, but no way she beats Dan, yo. That's what she I'm saying. Around. That's, That's what, what I'm saying, Trees. In, hey. in our mock trial, I mean our mock uh, draft. Oh, I'm, I'm with you, Trees. Oh, I'm, I'm with you. But like the that. wheel, the wheel has spoken. The wheel doesn't lie. I let it be. Wheel doesn't lie. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this win. I'm not mad at it. I'm not. It's and not I'm not mad at it all either. It's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just like season 13, I got she was oh I forgot to mention this all all the whole round. She is the first winner that I've always wanted to the first player to win that I actually wanted to win to actually win. Okay. Mm. Still to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> all right, Monty Lover. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I'm not no, uh uh-uh. uh not talking about just out of <laughs> final two. I'm just talking about out of the whole season. Like when I pick somebody, like that's who I wanted to win. Gotcha. Rachel. Yeah, the person I didn't really have nobody I wanted to win in season twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that but, was fun. Yeah, thanks for uh, joining us for that. And shoot, we'll try to provide the links to both of those probably after we release it. If y'all are cool with that, and if y'all don't like the fact that Rachel's our representative, y'all can go and take the quiz yourself and see. Y'all can do the whole bracket, see who you get. And yeah. 
We'll also provide if you want to go through the long hour long hours long journey of every single Big Brother player that's yeah. played. We can also provide that as well. But yeah. Other than that, as we wrap up this first annual A Who's the Most Iconic draft, because I feel like we can just do this draft and it'll be a different reason, different person, nearly every Shoot. time. Eric Stein isn't making the final four in most <laughs> of our drafts, but it's the He's way it works out. Eric made it to the end, and that's how chaotic these things can be. You know be. what we should do? We need to do a diversity one where we only put the diverse members of Big Brother on and see who wins. Oh, okay. That's that's be we can make that happen. We're going to do that one in our downtime. Oh, for sure. And That'll we can do like the work. Didn't somebody say the losers are the worst? What are we saying? Yep. non jurors yep. or something like that. Yep. Yeah. We'll we come up do, with plenty of drafts. Yeah. We got, we, we, yeah, we, we got time. It's a writer strike. We got a long season ahead of us. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> pay your writers. Pay your writers, by the way. Pay your writers. Yep. And, and the actors, actors that, that need and them. Exactly. All of it. Residuals, mm-hmm. all that. Writers, everybody. So I'm not going to lie. If this BB25 season isn't going to be cooking, uh, we going to have to have these quizzes ready. Cause... Ready. We're going to be on there. <laughs> um, so thank you all, listeners and viewers, for joining us for this A Who's the Most Iconic draft or march madness draft is it a draft i don't even know if it's a draft we'll, it, we'll call it a bracket. bracket 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 there we go that's the word i'm looking for bracket we appreciate you tuning in make sure you follow us on social media on twitter and instagram at a who all there and follow our youtube channel click like share comment and turn on your notifications Pull it. at a who all gonna be there podcast until mm-hmm. next time thank you Later. Later. Peace.